So these are some more example ideas for discovery prompts that you can do. Um, I find this really useful specifically if you're doing creative projects or you need to know things that you don't know what it is you need to know. Uh, in, in, in other words, uh, we need new information. So things you can do, uh, you know, I was doing a, a film and they wanted a style similar to an SR-71 and I need some similar sort of engineering architecture to that. Um, but ma again, making those comparison points is difficult to find similar to. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's a prompt you can give it. Or uh, some other examples here, tell me some historical events that happened between 1920 and 1940. Uh, so that's a specific context, a specific range of time. Uh, but we can also say, based on what it gives us, we can also say, hey, can we get some just more positive events in that time period? Maybe not all the negative events, because maybe there were some you know, war and stuff like that, uh, you know, so we can drive the context. We can say, what are the fashion events that happened between those two periods? We can get very specific and adjust those those terms. Uh, and some other questions that are very practical for life advice. How can we get good education without paying college tuition? Uh, give me t 10 clickbait YouTube titles. What are 10 leadership tactics one can use on a student who misbehaves? You know, what are the main technological challenges the Germans had during World War II? Uh, those are all really interesting uh, discovery terms we can do. Uh, we're going to go into some more context-specific ones next about software and, uh, you know, specific uh, prompts we can use to actually learn uh, different tools. So you can actually use it as a great tool for learning. I think of it like a personal tutor when I'm using it in that way. So we're going to talk about that uh, in the next video.